Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes, future results are not guaranteed, and finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As always, we're starting with the gold daily chart. And we can see just fractionally our 1766 price level continues to hold up as support in our descending wedge. And we rally right up to it. And now we're sitting here trying to make our decision. I mean, technically, if you take our downtrend line and we draw it over to what happened here on uh, Monday, you can kind of see that we're still uh, in our descending wedge. So if that's the case, then our 1800 should push us back down to 1766. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what's different about today's price action is if I slide over, you can see... Um, you know, you can see just the big candles down, uh, up quickly, down. And with today's price action, you can see that instead we accumulated volume in here. So um, that may be because of this wedge here. And, and again, uh, we're waiting for a breakout as one way or the other. But today's price action did not give us that free-flowing volume up and down. We did accumulate. So with a you know so good day good day for gold what does that mean for our currency pairs? Well, first we have the euro dollar and we basically put in a doji, really uh, two dojis in a row. And so the market that's basically showing indecision in the market. You can see our volume pretty much at parity. Here we can see we are in the neutral zone yet we're below our long term moving average. And then towards the end of the day here the euro took control which allowed for us to get that bounce and move higher. So even though we can see that recently the, the euro um, trending lower, but with a little move higher here, a little move higher, whereas our dollar is just trending lower, which again allowed the euro to take control. We can see fractionally that the buyers are in control, but our indicator is in a neutral zone. So overall, we may see this on a daily begin to move higher because the euro is in control. We have a little divergence here. Euro is moving up, dollar moving down. So we may see us maybe head up here all the way to the neutral line. But again, we are in neutral. And overall, even though we are, um, the euro is in control, uh, we're still basically in a range here. Pound dollar. Pound dollar is coming up to what once was support. It's now resistance. We pause here 1.57. Sitting here right now. The difference here is the dollar is still fractionally in control, but basically we're seeing weakness under both. Um, we did get a move higher because we started to see the dollar begin to, I'm sorry, the pound begin to move up here as the dollar went sideways to down. So that allowed for us to move higher but we're still in a range just like the euro uh, uh, pound. Um, we are now we're in a neutral zone so below our long term moving average. The dollar is fractionally in control. Looks like the pound wants to take control and as we said pound averaging lower but now making a move up. Dollar still averaging lower going down. Here we can see fractionally that the, the sellers are in control but our indicator is still in the neutral zone. Finally, we have the dollar franc. Obviously, we have this beautiful move higher. Our resistance is holding in at 0.89. Um, the 200 moving average may act as support. We moved higher. We're kind of going sideways now that we're up here at resistance. And so we'll have to see what's going to be our catalyst to move, keep moving higher. 
certainly there should be some bullish that we are starting to close above the 200 moving average. We got a 20 above the uh, 50 cross here, but we are in a sell zone. But now the dollar is back in control, just fractionally. The dollar is in control. The, the pair will move higher. We can see that the uh, franc is averaging lower, dollar averaging lower. But now, just in this last little moment here, as uh, the new uh, time frame rolls over, we got a little hook up here. But just fractionally, the sellers are in control and we're in neutral. So, um, what, what I'll be watching here. And see what's going on somewhere in here. Uh, you can almost say an ascending wedge here. Uh, but again, again, we have our resistance at 0.891. And then we have this uptrend line that we can watch on the uh, one hour time frame. As we move to our watch list, we start off with our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bolger Bands. That we have the Euro Yen. And the pound yen. And our inside bar watch list, we're watching today's rain as compared with Monday. And we will be watching the pound dollar, the dollar yen, the pound yen, and the euro yen. Let's go take a look at our education spotlight. And what we're talking about today is a continuation of our discussion about trading plans and why we need them and how to create your own trading plan. And Central to the successful trading is a technical skill of identifying high probability trades. So as you're looking at your trading plan and what type of trades you want to take, you want to take the high probability trades. There are a bunch of setups out there, but they're not all high probability. First and foremost, counter trend trades are not high probability. That doesn't mean they're not going to work, but you're trading against the trend. So that therefore it, it lowers the probability. We want to focus, especially in the beginning, on high probability trades, leveling the playing fields, trading with the professionals instead of against the, the professionals. So you have a checklist of conditions that need to be met, and each condition raises your probability of the trade working. No trade is 100%, but we can raise our percentage, our win-loss ratio, our, our probability of the trade working out by having our criteria uh, for each trade. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate? We have our free five course video on high probability trading. We just talked about that. That's, that is is key to success, high probability trading. But we have a video for you where you can, it will help you design your own high probability trading steps, how to frame them, what to look for as you're coming up with your own criteria for high probability trading. Hopefully that will give you an insight as to who we are as coaches, we work with you one-on-one -on -one to develop your own personalized trading plan where we focus on high probability trading setups. We find those trading setups that are high probability, but more importantly, the high probability trading setups that match you as a trader because there are some that are high probability but have a higher risk. Why not get paid a trade? Uh, rebates for your forex trades. Uh, the spreads don't change. The conditions of the market don't change. There's rebates for your trade. And finally, if you're looking for signals, we have those too. Uh, we have all the providers that you can get to be traded automatically, or you can get the things to trade for yourself. But again, it's all about finding that a provider that gives you the trading setups with high probability and matches who you are as a trader and matches how much you're willing to risk. Because it doesn't make a difference about the system or the indicator. It matters whether or not you can pull the trigger, and it matters whether or not you can pull the trigger day after day after day, time and time again. We do that by documentation, and we do that by focusing on high probability trades. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.